girl. Hey, hey, man. Makes me perfect for elected office. People are talking about the nation's toughest obstacle course race. Governor, because I've proven I'm someone you can trust to break their word when it's for the best, and that's what we need in a leader. We should talk about border security. Yes. Fernando was thinking about the gaping hole in our nation's security. We have to plug that hole. We're all exposed. Shut it tight. Ah, uh, Fernando. Sorry. Hello. But it's a fact. Hey, we gotta you plug got the me. gap. But at the same time, we should allow some undocumented workers in for a party time. I know. Fernando became an American the courageous way by outrunning the speedboat. Well, we need to make sure we can pledge to our children. Children, and our children's children, that they will have clean air to breathe, clean bottled water to drink, and most of all, that the rich will pay their fair share, which I compute to be about 82.5% of all future income. So what you're saying, Sue, is you've made a lot of money, and going forward, nobody else will be able to. Exactly. I'm very wealthy, and I'm making sacrifices, so the middle class will have to get on board, too. It stands to reason, does it? Yes. If we want a fairer world, it stands to reason that you need a rich, impartial person to tell you how to make it fair. This is something Vinewood understands implicitly, and I'm going to take it across the state. Let's get back on track. I think we have a health crisis in this country, and people should have the medicine they need, like Proposition 208. Yes, Fernando loves medical cocaine. I see pretty lady, you look like you are not feeling well. I will help you. I have put a row of medicine down there for you. Oh, yes. She's feeling much better now. Maybe you want to take it like a suppository. Poof. Yes, yes, okay. We have some people on the phone who have questions for Miss Murray. Okay, line eight. Hello, you are on the Fernando Show with Sue Murray. Why do you even exist? I'm a sports fan, but it's gotten a little ridiculous, you know? The celebrities get the best seats, and they come for don't free. See my band next and week. the stars don't Fresh try, and they get paid millions of dollars and hey, constantly buddy. go on strike. The pool costs a lot of money. Well, that's the true meaning of sport. It's about a shared experience of Hola, going mommy. broke together while nice watching a voice. few drug addicts get insanely rich. That's America in a nutshell. I want to tax those rich people and make them think twice about what they did to get there in the first place. Well, we better get a damn football team, because it's bad enough this city has no real identity except unhinged police and terrible TV. Yes. Violence is a real problem. Fernando knows this very well. I give the guy in traffic the bird. He does not like the bird so much, I think, because he comes and kicks Fernando's door. There are so many things that glorify violence. I saw this awful book at the store. Hitting Kids Works Wonders by some ex-soldier called Alan McLean. I mean, you should never, ever, ever lay a hand on a child. This is true. Don't touch that child. You will get in big trouble if someone is watching. Now. You talked hey earlier about the debt ceiling. That's a big issue that is too often politicized. A lot of professional it's women in this state are hitting a glass ceiling. The debt ceiling, the glass ceiling. Fernando is tired of all these ceilings. Ceilings what aren't really ceilings. There are those fake ceilings in little squares, and you can hide things up there. Um, okay. Well, we've got someone on the phone who really wants to talk to Miss Murray. It's Money author and parenting NBA? guru. Alan McLean. Tool. Hey, I heard what you said about my father. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. McLean, but it's barbaric. Children should be coddled and never made to feel bad or actually respect authority. Hey, I'll come over and I hit your kid the right new now. Of yard. Hey, I'll huh. come over and hit you. You sound like you need a spanking by a Marine, and I'm the Marine to do it. My goodness. Oh, I thought this was an intelligence station. Is this what you would like, Sue Murray? Would you like this man who writes the book to spank you like a little girl and then hold you tight afterwards? His stubble on the nape of your neck, smelling of whiskey on his breath. What? 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 What are you talking about? Never! S since I divorced my ex-husband and took all his money, 
I've pledged myself to a higher calling. Public office and political correctness. Keep telling it yourself that, sister. Let's take another caller. Hi, Miss Murray. I'm gonna vote for you. I really appreciate how you reach out to the gay community. Oh, you have the best parades. I'm not gay. I mean, I wish I was. Anyway, listen, over 80% of marriages end in divorce. It's a historical fact. All women eventually turn into fat slobs. Fernando is agreeing with you silently, but out loud he says, don't hurt people's feelings. I mean, gay guys keep in shape at least. Well, most of them do, but wives? I don't think so. Excuse me, what kind of shape are you in? That's not important. I'm not the 400 pounds now, you know. I can almost see my penis. A powerful bear who loves his honey. Okay, okay, let's go over here to line five. Please, speak some sense. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, Mrs. Murray. Big fan. I'm voting for you. I really am. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I really want a multi-millionaire battle axe telling me how to live. It's no wonder politics sucks. I gotta go take a shower, because I'm looking at a dirty And the guy in the qualification yeah. office is that he's praying and jumping off of a train wreck. We all know women hating women is the worst form of misogyny. I don't hate you because you're a woman. I hate you because you're a rich idiot and that you're better than everyone else. You see what I have to put up with? Joe, you see? Women hate each other. Try to bring each other down. That's men getting into their brains. I love you, Sue. I love you when you get flustered, when you get sweaty. You, you, you're a woman hater. I've had about as much as I can take. Oh, that's great. Oh, I took the classes. I am a new man. I love all women equally. Oh, no, yes, rock, rock. Sue, come back here. No. See me. She's gone. Why does this keep happening? Okay, I think that's pretty much all we have time for today. I was just getting my emotional flow going. But okay, remember, the passion, she is back on The Fernando Show. On the inside, you're all action. Because nothing impresses people like... <laughs> Sports electronics that look great on my desk, but I never use. Crevice. Stop by Crevice and start looking the lifestyle you wish you had. Buy medals mm -hmm. for marathons you never ran. Or a beaten up surfboard and surf wax you'll never use. Or carabiners, climbing supplies, and doctored photos of you on Everest. Plus a thousand other stories you can tell to seem like the adventurer you are on the inside. Crevice. We help you take the inside outside. Crevice. Never stop pretending. Don't miss the next episode of Serious Cougar. Eunice goes on a bender with a pool boy and breaks her hip. If women in their 20s don't know their ass from their elbow, and women in their 50s know what they like, imagine being with an experienced, pleasure-loving octogenarian wrestling with dementia and horniness. The show that hits below the belt, just like her breasts. Serious Cougar, Wednesday nights at 9 on Weasel. WCTR cares about you, your community, and your time spent listening. There's a war going on for your mind. And you've lost it. This is Chakra Attack, a new approach to Los oh, Santos County Integrated Health Needs. And I'm your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Um, let's all say that again. Um, be cleansed one, be cleansed all. It's time to wake up. It's time to sleep. It's time to wash that dirt out of your systems. It's time to be one. It's time to be one on one. Yeah, it's time, my brothers. Thing? It's time right now. Time for my show. Welcome to this week's Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. And I am, as you have already probably Ooh. ascertained by now, your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Have we armed yet, Cheryl? I'll take have we you armed? When I get there. Yes. You heard me go? Um, yes. Well, I'll take your word, folks. Oh, oh, this is life. Oh, this is what we are giving you. So I'm giving you right now. I'm taking a break right now to give you this right here. Um. Ooh, you are one fine girl. I need your strength, baby. I need you here with me. Stay with me, girl. Be conscious of where you are. Wow. That's my producer, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Nurse Cheryl Fox. Cheryl, Get with me, that. girl. I need you. Hi, girl. I need you. I need you to go deep now. I need you to go deeper. Come on, together, together, together now. Come on now. You out there too. If I don't feel you, you can't feel me! Come on, Cheryl, one more time. Um. That is beautiful. Yes, we have all... Mm. Whatever you are doing, give yourself a big fat... Um. Yeah. 
you one great Lord. wave of love, one great wave of joy, a great wave of spiritual clarity. Imagine it all like a big sticky mess of love. Imagine your soul is like a bazooka. Boom! Or a balloon that a little innocent child sets free to the heavens. And the camera pans up as that balloon floats free and a swell of music plays as it soars to the heavens. Then it comes down in the ocean and a turtle eats it and it has internal hemorrhage and dies. You have killed that turtle. That's the wrong message you're sending. Don't set things free that are going to kill other things. You are attacking the world in the wrong way.